This military report is brought to you by Coleman University. Lock and load. It's been a bit louder near Camp Pendleton this week as training for artillery, mortars, and rockets has been underway for nearly days, a few days nonstop. Units from 29 Palms as well as Camp Pendleton are taking part. New at 6 o'clock, 10 News military reporter Bob Lawrence shows us how new technology has changed everything. Though it's smaller and lighter than its predecessor, the M777 howitzer still packs a punch. And miles away in the impact zone, you can hear the result. It's what those near and not so near to Camp Pendleton have been hearing for days. The whole regiment's out here. All the different battalions, we're all working together, we're all shooting together, we're all putting rounds on the same target. The regiment includes units from 29 Palms, so there's some two dozen cannons and upwards of 1,600 Marines. This is the same 11th Marine Regiment in Afghanistan, but the big cannons are no longer there. Our last cannon units are now back here, uh, and they've all been replaced by rocket units, high Mars. This mobile rocket device is the Marine Corps' most advanced artillery system, but even the howitzer has been upgraded. Cannon and artillery have been around forever, but new technology has changed everything. Here, an unmanned aerial vehicle spots a target. That information is compiled by the forward observers. Fire mission! Who then send it to the fire direction center. 352.1. The coordinates are digitally transmitted and uploaded by a battery crew. And once the howitzer is ready, fire! And above it all, the unmanned aerial vehicle tracks the result. But even some of the shells that they use have high-tech components like GPS. That can travel well over 15 miles and place an artillery munitions within one meter of a target area. A meter is just over three feet. This is refresher training for most who just recently came back aboard the USS Green Bay and Rushmore on a recent deployment in May. Bob Lawrence, 10 News. The noise levels and the exercise will wrap up Wednesday.